Hey everybody, JT's Born here, and welcome to another edition of my Batman the Animated Series Reviews. This time we're going to be taking a look at episode number 39, Heart of Steel, part 2. So this one takes place right after the events of the first episode. Barbara Gordon is like, wondering like, hey, what's going on with my dad? And Batman just, you know, he managed to escape his death trap in the Batcave that was, you know, like a computer virus implanted by Hard Act. And then we see that Hard Act is currently like, replacing known figures with duplicates and in essence there's a part where batman is on the roof with uh, barbara gordon no 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 don't think the killing joke don't think that at all um where she talks to him is like hey that's not my father and then harvey bullock shows up turns out and then they like fight him and then they throw on the bat signal and he kind of like explodes and i'm like geez you know can you imagine if that was the real harvey bullock he'd be dead <laughs> But then it turns out it's just a robot, and they stop him anyway. So then Batman goes to investigate. You know, he's attacked by more duplicates. Barbara goes on her investigating things. Uh, they all end up at Hardak. Hardak's evil. You know, they're like, oh, human error. We're going to replace all these people, blah, 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 blah. Eventually, you know, Batman comes in to, you know, kind of save the day, and then Barbara Gordon rescues him at the end of the episode. Hardak gets blown up, and they all make it out okay. And then the one dude is just like, oh, I didn't realize Hardak could do this. And then he's, the mayor's like, I'm sure the investigation will prove that. So then everyone leaves. Barbara Gordon's thinking, you know what? I kind of enjoyed myself doing this, you know, hero, detective, you know, saving the day type stuff, working with Batman. So, yeah. So that, in essence, plants the seeds for when she eventually becomes Batgirl later on in the show. I think it was Shadow of the Bat Part 1 and 2 is where she becomes Batgirl. And then she is in the very last episode, I believe, where it's like Batgirl Returns. So, that's neat. I, I kind of like this stuff. Um, Barbara Gordon's a good character, and I do like when she eventually becomes Batgirl. I just... God damn, I can't get that Killing Joke scene out of my head. It's just... You never forget a scene like that, unfortunately. But as far as this episode goes, I think it's a little bit better than Part 1. In terms of two-parters in the show i do think overall like if you were to maybe like this one is kind of like the weakest i mean well i think the only like i think it's the first these two episodes are better than the first part of Fita clay but Fita clay part two is better than these two episodes so in essence like as of right now this is kind of like some of the lower end of the two-parters in terms of batman the anime series it's always like been an episode that i didn't necessarily go back to and like rewatch over and over again so, that's just something that I've kind of always done. Um, after this, like, I, Hardak would make another appearance later on down the road. I, it was, like, kind of like the end of that storyline. Because this is kind of like, it's almost like a trilogy. But, like, the third part is kind of just, you know, at a bit of a distance. So, but yeah, um, it's it's a fine two-parter. Like I said, it's not one that I necessarily, like, enjoy rewatching all the time. It's kind of one that I'm like, oh, I'm on Heart of Steel. Uh, I kind of want to skip ahead. You know what I mean? There, there's better two-parters out there. Um, Cat in the Claw, part one and two is better. Two-Face, part one and two is a lot better. And Robin's Reckoning, part one and two is, like, the best two-parter in the show. So this is one that I don't necessarily, like, entirely recommend watching. Unless you kind of want to know where Barbara Gordon started off and then, like, you know, kind of plants the seeds of, like, her eventual, like, joining to the Bat family then it's worth checking out to see, like, her first appearance and how she was early on as opposed to how she is later on. So, yep, those are my thoughts on, you know, Heart of Steel's parts one and two. I hope you enjoyed watching this, and uh, be sure to come back next time as we're going to be, finally, we're on to the Riddler with episode 40. I've been waiting for the Riddler for quite a bit of time because I used to love, Riddler when I was younger was, like, my favorite villain on the animated series, but as I got older, I progressively, like, chose the Joker because, well, Joker has so much more, like, presence on the show than the Riddler. But, like, the Riddler episodes are always, like, ones I look forward to the most. Especially, like, uh, What is Reality? That's that's my favorite Riddler episode. But this one, is, that's coming up. If you're so smart, why aren't you rich? That one's, uh, that one's really good. So, anyways, it's gonna wrap it up for this video. Be sure to comment below and let me know what you thought of Heart of Steel Part 2. And then, um, I'll see you all later. You guys have a good one. Comment, like, and subscribe for more Batman the Animated Series content. Peace out.